either. You might have heard of HARP. HARP is uh, believed to be uh, a system uh, with which you can trigger earthquakes. And uh, Mr. Fulford and lots of other people are talking about it as if it's been used by the US or China to uh, cause the earthquakes in Haiti and Chile and, uh, and the tsunami in Indonesia. I have a hard time of believing HARP, especially when you look into it and the way that it's been explained. Basically what it's uh, supposed to be is a radio antenna system that emits uh, uh, low frequency radio waves that are bouncing back from the stratosphere or the ionosphere and uh, bouncing back to Earth and then uh, on the other side of the planet, after bouncing back and forth uh, a couple of times, they will uh, uh, penetrate the earth, heat up the water underground and cause an earthquake. So I have a couple of questions regarding this, because uh, I, these are the questions that make me doubt it. First of all, these are low frequency waves and people talk about it because uh, they're like radio waves and you can pick them up at uh, 3.9 uh, megahertz or something like that. And they are long distance, so they travel all around the world. If they do that, and they bounce back and forth between the ionosphere and the Earth, then why would they penetrate the Earth in the end? You know, it's either one or the other. Uh, it's more logical that it's bouncing back and emitted back into space. The second one is, of course, if it's radio waves and it's, uh, it's heating up the water uh, deep under the Earth, then uh, there's an obstacle uh, for that, because there's lots of water between uh, the surface of the Earth and, and deep underneath where the earthquakes uh, might be triggered. Uh, the Earth is full of water, there's groundwater, and that would absorb the radiation. So why would it go so deep? Some people uh, use the analogy with the X-ray uh, treatment, where you have uh, lots of beams together, uh, cause a focus point, but the X-rays are not absorbed by the soft tissue in the skull. Uh, and, uh, and so when, the, when they meet in the, let's say, in the crosshairs of the X-ray, there's just a lot of radiation there. And, uh, and that will kill the, the cancer. But uh, in this case, uh, these radio waves are, are absorbed by, uh, by, by water, by almost everything. Then uh, number three is, of course, uh, there's a lot of uh, power in these radio waves. People, so people are saying billions of watts. Well... Why then don't we hear from radio amateurs that have their uh, equipment completely burned out? Because these type of uh, powers are highly unusual. And these uh, radios are highly sensitive. And all these uh, hobbyists and amateurs, they listen to these frequencies and they would be burned. And the last one that I can fit in the time is, uh, where are the power plants to power this uh, thing? Because if you have these radio uh, installations, then you would expect power plants next to them to create the billions of watts that come from them. So uh, if you have answers, let me know.